Hello, Facebook friends. Jeff Larson here, sales manager of Billion Toyota in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. Today is a day that we've really been excited for as George Hotz, the owner and founder of Kama.ai, will be stopping in here with his Toyota RAV4 in which he's actually put his own technology to make it a self-driving vehicle. So he's making a tour across the United States, stopping at four locations, and we're one of them. So let's go check it out. to drive, right? You can write a whole lot of rules about what driving is, but this is never really going to work because there are so many unspoken rules of the road. How do you really figure out what the definition is? You gather huge data. So that's what we did with this app. Now, where are we going to run these models? We're going to run these models on computers. So we need a way to connect computers to cars. That's what this guy is here. This is a Kama AI Panda. This port Maybe some of you are familiar with it. It's available on all cars after 1996. It's called the OBD2 port. And this port, you should all be familiar with, it's a USB port from a computer. So it converts car ports to computer ports. Starting with simple stuff like the speed, but you do know that your car actually has a speed sensor on each wheel. You can see how fast each wheel is turning. You can get tire pressures. You can get, you can get uh, fuel and fuel consumption. You can get whether your seatbelt's unlatched, whether a door is open. All of these sensors are available on modern cars. You can access them with a panel. Now, we have the models for how to drive cars. We have the interface to interface computers to cars. Now we actually have to put a computer in your car. So we just sell hardware. We don't uh, sell a self-driving system. Um, we just sell uh, you know, general purpose hardware. And then we give away our software. Our software is called OpenPilot. Maybe it's an open source alternative to Tesla Autopilot. We gave it away at the end of 2016, along with plans to build this hardware yourself. This is actually the second gen hardware that we sell, but the first gen hardware, all the plans to build it yourself are free on the internet. But yeah, yeah, so, so you, with what we've released, it's very capable to port this to your car, assuming it's new enough and actually has a way to control the gas brakes and steering. So we have a little video here. Um, maybe it's, uh, Kind of tool go through, but it just kind of shows what the system looks like when it's working. This is obviously not the kind of self-driving car where you can enter in your destination, it'll take you there. It's a lot more like lane keeping assist and adaptive cruise control, but variants that actually work. We had maybe a 30 minute stretch yesterday where you don't have to touch it. You don't have to touch the gas, the brakes, or the steering because it's doing all three. So this is a 20 minute video of it driving. Um, if you guys are familiar with Tesla Autopilot, we think of Tesla Autopilot like iOS and we are the Android. Tesla owns the whole vertical. They own the software and the hardware. I never want to build cars. We leave that to people who are good at building cars. I just want to build sort of the operating system, and that's what Com AI Open Pilot is. We have hundreds of users today. Um, do you know how you know if a self-driving car is real or not? You ask this question. Are there videos put on YouTube of people without an agenda? Right? You look at Waymo and Cruise, the only videos of their cars working on YouTube are put out by the Waymo and Cruise marketing departments. Completely unbiased, no agenda there. Definitely they're trying to, no, it's, 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 it's total, it's total, it's total, uh, it's, it's, it's junk. It's, it's, it's the only two systems that actually have real users using them are Tesla Autopilot and Common AI OpenPilot. No other questions. What's the oldest car you can put it in? It's got to be the new yeah. safety feature. Yeah, so there's a question. So you gotta be able to control the gas, brakes, and steering. So gas is really easy. Almost all cars made after 1995 are gas by wire, meaning the gas is not physically connected to the engine. It's just a potentiometer going to a computer. Uh, brake and steering are a whole lot harder. So the way that we tap into the brake and steering is we use the adaptive cruise control to do the brakes, and we use the lane keep assist system to do the steering. Uh, this is becoming more and more standard on cars. Actually, Toyota is one of the most uh, forward-thinking companies here. Toyota is shipping TSSP on the majority of their lineup standard, meaning any 2018 or 2017 RAV4 will support this system. Uh, any 2018, 2017 Prius will support this system. Um, but yeah, you need some way to control the, the steering and the brakes. And where do you put that on your car? So, um, this thing here is called a giraffe. You just unclip the top part that has the stock camera in it, remove that wire, plug that wire into here, plug this where that was, 
So now you have a giraffe in there. Now you have this port. You can take our Kamei pen, just plug it in right here. And then just get a USB cable, connect those up. This is a GoPro mount, so you stick a GoPro mount to the windshield, and you get your drive. Is your, uh, you've got the draft in place and you're using your system, um, say that my wife gets in the car. Yep. Would you say that she wouldn't use that? Yep. Which is fine. Does all of the lane keep assist on those other features continue to work like stock? Well, that's oh, if you want to use the stock, that's what we have these switches for. Okay. Just flip these switches back and it'll go into stock mode and it won't do anything, so you can select between the two. What's the cost to uh, add this time to our RAV4? Um, so, remember that it is, it's not a self-driving car kit that we sell, so it's not quite a consumer product. You have to be a, a bit of an enthusiast, but um, all the pieces that you're going to need hardware-wise, this is $6.99, this is $99, and this is $60. So all together, running like 900 bucks, way cheaper than you pay out the door for an adaptive cruise control add-on to, to a new car today. But it's, uh, but it's a dash kit. What's dash cam? Well, it's sold as a dash cam. No, it actually comes with dash cam yeah. software. What people do after they buy it, what kind of hypocrite would I be if I tried to control what the consumer did with the product they purchased from me, right? <laughs> How does it work on gravel? South Dakota question. Oh, I wouldn't. <laughs> Um, I, would, I wouldn't use it anywhere you don't have great traction. The same thing with cruise control, right? So the, the, the loop that it's running for gas and brakes is very similar to a cruise control system. Um, no, I would, I, would, I, would, I would drive yourself in those kind of places. Where, where this really uh, works is long, boring stretches of highway, which is what most commutes are. I mean, maybe some people are commuting on gravel, but I know most people are commuting in bumper-to-bumper -bumper traffic on four-lane highways. It's using the pavement lines, right? Or not? It's, it's using a combination of a bunch of things. So it's using the same sort of combination that humans use, right? It has some input from the lines, some input from like a holistic path prediction, like oh, the road kind of curves that way, and then some input from following the car in front of you. To incorporate the GPS, absolutely, yeah. So um, this, is, this is the new thing we shipped, the Com AI Eon. Um, it comes with a dash cam software called Chiffer Plus, but it's open source, so you can modify it to do whatever you want, like run some aforementioned self-driving car software. Um, it includes Waze and Spotify, so we can actually tap into Waze. The first thing we're gonna do with GPS is similar things that Tesla do. If you're in the right lane, it will know whether you wanna go straight or take the exit. Now it'll always go straight, but if the direction said take the exit, it'll take the exit. These white X's on the map are every time somebody had to take back control from the self-driving system, every time our system makes a mistake. That data is uploaded to our cloud, our machine learning algorithms learn, and the cars get better at driving. So we think maybe in two to three years, it'll be a better driver than people. Well, Facebook friends, we certainly learned a lot today, uh, especially with Comma.ai, that obviously they have the technology available that can be used in any 2017 or 2018 Toyota RAV4. And of course, there's more to come. But again, thanks for joining us today, and we'll see you soon.